Shots fired outside a business last night in Mid-City. Has area business owners nervous that the weekend crowds are getting out of hand? Maddie Kurth has this story. Business owners in Mid-City say the chaotic crowds around the 100 block of Carrollton Avenue have grown to a public safety threat. It's turned dangerous, and that's, that's what's... what's so harrowing to the neighborhood. For months, this business owner, who asked not to be identified, has been documenting the disruptions. What started as complaints of unruly crowding, people riding on horses to the bars, and ATV stunts on the busy roadway has grown to reports of shots fired. All because we asked them not to park on the sidewalk. Late Sunday night, a car was seen parked up on the sidewalk, blocking the entrance to an open business. When employees told the driver to move, they say things got out of hand. Said he's going to bring a bunch of other young, young people with him and shoot the place up. Minutes later, employees called the NOPD to report the man fired several shots into the air outside their business. It has to come down somewhere. Police say no injuries or property damage were reported and the suspect drove away. But the business owner says the close call and violent threats have made him more uncomfortable. It's slowly and, and increasingly uh, more now becoming a danger to the public. This is a danger to safety. He says when police got on scene to investigate, the suspect called his business and threatened again to hurt them. When the fellow was brazen enough to, to call call our police and, and make a threat to not only the, the employees again, but also state that he was threatening and endanger, threatening to endanger the lives of the officers who were responding. I mean, that's a level of brazen stupid I couldn't even imagine. Police say the suspect drove away again before they could catch him. New Orleans City Councilman Joe Geruso says he plans to meet with a group of business owners in the area on Friday to talk about the incident. I mean, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into this uh, hoping that we'll have a plan on how to make it safer in the neighborhood. Tell us how we can help. I mean, we would love to help. We're, we're not being a stagnant community. And that was Maddie Kurth reporting. Police have not identified the suspected shooter and say anyone with information should call first district detectives or make an anonymous tip to crime station.